listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah, I wanna really? feel so aligned. Listen, good one. Talk to me. <clears throat> Why is it hard for men to tap into their emotions? Are men afraid? Yes. That's the You answer. can like, answer that however you want. It's two, I know it's two questions. Are men afraid? Yes. Why are we afraid? Because we don't know how to. You know, there's that music soul, uh, soul child song, teach me how to love, show me the way. Like, that's real. And what, what, what I mean by that is, so some psychologists have, you know, hypothesized or even tested that the average woman says more words a day than the average man. The average girl says more words a day. The average female child is going to speak earlier than the average male child. So <clears throat> not only could you make an argument that women are predisposed to be better at communicating and emotional intelligence as a consequence, but women are also socialized. Girls are also socialized and encouraged to be. Right. So the average boy doesn't know how to never learn how to. Um, he learned how to in the ways that are comfortable for other boys, you know, like, oh, we're going to go play this game of basketball. We're going to play 2K. You know what I'm saying? You good, bro. You know what I'm saying? We've learned in those ways, but in the ways on y'all's level, we're not there. And I think a lot of times where women fail us is. They don't recognize that and they expect us to be at their level. Mm -hmm. They expect somebody who's just started learning Spanish to be on the level of somebody who, who grew up in Spain, mm -hmm. right? And that's the difference. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're scared of our emotions because we don't understand it. Mm -hmm. um, and fear sometimes turns to hate and some men including myself, hate emotions. Mm -hmm. And I think the other piece too that we don't recognize is that for a very long time throughout history, emotions didn't serve men. Men were hunters, men were warriors, men were diplomats. There was no time, incentive, or purpose to crying, for instance. Um, and, you know, we're just learning how to do that and we're following y'all's lead, but, um, the leadership can be condescending. And I think a bit of grace would help. Um, but yeah, boys are scared of emotions because we don't know it. We're not familiar with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Hmm. I mean, I guess I'll just ask it the way it was asked. Is it okay for a woman or a man to date multiple women? And, and is it okay for a woman to date multiple men? Is it okay for a man to date multiple women and a woman to date multiple men? Is it okay to who? Right. Hmm? So let's put it in the context of a relationship. I guess I think this might be the best way to. I mean, I'll start. I'll start by saying yeah. the reality we're gonna have to like wrestle with at some point as a community, right? Men are predisposed to be polygamous. Mm -hmm. Should men be polygamous? I think that is worth a conversation. Mm -hmm. um, I do, however, think men should be honest and give women the option of, you know, do I want to stick around or do I want to go? Um, so and that's why I asked, is it okay for who? 
Because for some women, they could work something out. Uh, for other women, they might not be able to. Because, I mean, one of the realities we have to, we have to reckon with as a community, because, again, this is about black men and black women, the number of marriage eligible and marriage enthusiastic is how I'll call it. So marriage eligible and marriage enthusiastic women far outweigh the number of marriage ready and enthusiastic black men. So we're either going to have to subscribe to one of two realities. Reality number one, a lot of black women prove Kevin Samuels right and die alone. Or um, actually, let's call it three options. A lot of black women die alone. Um, y'all have to, some people say start sharing niggas, but continue sharing niggas. Let's be real. Let's continue sharing the niggas, right? Or get you an Asian man, get you a white man, get you a Hispanic man. And we're going to have to like, as a community at some point, like, Make peace with one of those three options. Um, now, the, the female version, the, is it okay for a woman to have multiple men? I would say it's unnatural. Because at the end of the day, like, you can have five niggas all you want, but only one of them can get you pregnant at a time. So like the biology doesn't, the math isn't mathing, you know what I mean? So, um, but hey, I've seen women do it. So hey, I'm all for it. If you want to do it and everybody's on board, do your thing. Yeah. I wouldn't fuck with it, but that's you. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, this is a good. Get a little segue. Okay. Why do men want loyalty? Why do some men want loyalty, mm. but are hesitant on giving commitment? So it's pretty much the I'm doing my thing, but you should only be fucking with me. <clears throat> I've also been been guilty of that. I think it's I think it's ego primarily. Um but I, I think the other piece too is I think we feel as men, we feel like there are more consequences, potential consequences of female infidelity, I guess, than there are for, for male infidelity. Meaning that, like, if I'm saying, like, I want to keep doing my thing, but I want you to just be committed to me. Again, I'm just trying to say it bluntly. Like, I feel like... <clears throat> I might be fucking with those other bitches, but I, I fuck with you like for real, for real. Whereas I don't, there's no evidence that the average woman is capable of making that separation. Like that other nigga you fuck with, like you fuck with him, right? Whereas that these other hoes are just like other hoes. Um, and what's interesting, I was thinking about this the other day and I, I would be interested to know women's thoughts on this and other niggas thoughts on this as well. But like I saw this thing on, I think it was on Instagram and it was like, if a nigga has two girls he talks to, so a main chick and a side chick. And to one of the girls, he's completely honest. He tells her what it is, what it ain't. And to the other girl, he lies. You know, he, what were you the other night? I was uh, with my boys, this and that. Who does he love more? Most women were like, you know, the one he keeps it all the way real with. Again, I'm interested to know other niggas' answers, so y'all comment or whatever. And then we'll ask other dudes on the show. But 
from my perspective and from the niggas I've talked to, the one that he lies to is the one he loves the most because that's the one he's scared of losing. On top of that, that's the one he wants to keep the fantasy for. That's the one he wants to continue to be Superman for. The other one is like, whatever. Now on the flip side, a woman has two dudes. One that she lies to, one that she's completely honest with. Who does she love more? You answer that for me. Why am I answering it? This you is answer, your interview. No, but you're a woman. So like, what, what, who do you think she loves more? She has two niggas. Oh. One that she lies to, one that she's completely honest with. Who does she love more? For sure the one that she's honest with. Why? How did this just, how did this just turn like this? I'll tell you why I think, but I want to hear what you think. Um, I think that women like want to be loyal and prove their love, quote unquote, mm -hmm. to the man that they want to be with. I think that's part of it. I think what it is, the two things women want from a man is provision and the second thing, which you could even make the argument is the most important thing, safety. Yeah. The person that can see you naked, what's that LMA song, Love Me Naked, mm -hmm. is the person you love the most. Because that's who you feel the most safe with. Because mm. as a woman, unfortunately, 99% of your life is a facade. From your makeup to your white girl voice in the office, like everything is putting on. So the person you love the most is the person who loves you when you're just you. So you think it's the one that women are more honest with? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's the one. So it's the complete opposite of, because at the end of the day, we want to be Superman. Women want to be the damsel in distress. But could you also argue that women might want for the one that they love to see them in a certain light so they're willing to lie or to construe things not like men not like men not like men i think a woman who really loves a nigga wants wants him to love her back as her like i think women are a lot more conscious of for instance like i've had girls tell me that i would rather I think it means more when I'm approached, when I have sweatpants on and I'm not done up. Oh, for sure. Than when I'm, you know what I'm saying, all done glammed up and, and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's so, like, who is the, like, who's really. Who are you here for? Yeah. Like, what are you here for? For sure. So, and, and it, that goes back to like the, the inherent difference between men and women. We, as men, want the woman who makes us feel the most powerful. Because that's what is vital to us. I suspect, I'm not a woman, women want a man who gives them permission to be their weakest. Sure. The most feminine. Because it feels good. Because you feel, and like, it's I've, I've, I've had conversations with women where they're like, I just want to be able to, I just want to be. Absolutely. Niggas just don't want to I just want to exist. Exactly. Niggas yeah. don't want to be. Niggas want to, like, conquer. Right. Niggas want to sure. do shit. But a woman just wants to... Niggas want to, like, be better than the next nigga. But Absolutely. what I think part of where our community is messed up is that y'all are doing a better job at our role right now. And that, that dynamic is kind of... I, we might have to redefine what it means, but... Again, we haven't advanced that much since we came out of the Garden of Eden or the caves, whatever you believe, Africa. We haven't advanced that much psychologically, mm -hmm. but we're trying to interface with a, an advanced world and an advancing world. And we're just trying to figure shit out. Mm -hmm.